Another quick hitter edition. A lot of news coming out of South Philly lately. Uh, just yesterday, we talked about the brawl at Chickie and Pete's. Johnny Chang, Joey Baldino. We got to go back there. We're going to color this thing up. I'm going to give you the real kind of play-by-play -play of what happened and, and contextualize it. And we're going to set the record straight with um, some things that uh, have been said out in the ether. And um, some are true, some aren't. So we're going to try to separate fact from fiction. So it's it's been out there now for over 24 hours. Um, video, police reports, Friday night at Chickie and Pete's, which has been a you know, South Philly social staple forever. Um, big brawl. Former Bruno Scarfa underboss, Skipper, kind of emeritus right now, Johnny Chang. Everybody loves Johnny Chang across the country. He's a guy that is a, a, a consummate mob diplomat. Um, Johnny Changalini and Joey Baldino, who is a 40-year-old cowboy. Um, so here's what we know for sure. Uh, we reported inaccurately... Uh, when we started this, that Joey Baldino is in Phil Narducci's camp. Uh, Narducci kind of has his own, allegedly has kind of his own uh, faction of the Philadelphia mob. That was true, but is not true anymore. Uh, Joey Baldino, from what I can understand, is a man on an island right now. He's pretty much been shelved. I was told he got a button in the last decade, but now he has been kind of ostracized because of this type of behavior that we've that we saw exhibited on Friday night. Um, he's got a, a quick trigger temper. There's been a lot of incidences over the last handful of years. There was an incident with baby Dom Grande at some point about a, 10 years ago um, where Baldino vandalized the Grande's house. So it, he's a known commodity. Uh, but there are a lot of things at place, a, a lot of layers here. So I'm going to try to break it down as much as I can. Joey Baldino is related in some way, shape, or form to both Narducci and Johnny Changle. Uh, his, his mother is Phil Narducci's sister, I believe, but he also has a family tie to the Changolinis. But at this point, he is totally on the outs with Narducci and, and his, his uh, alleged group. He says that he's a... Um, you know, straight arrow businessman now, but, you know, our reporting kind of differs from that, but we got nothing but respect for, for Phil Narducci, a true OG. So here's what happened. And I've seen the police report. I've talked to a dozen people that were on the scene. I've talked to the FBI. I've talked to the, the uh, Philly PD, and I've talked to people that were involved in this. So Joey Baldino and his buddy, Mikey DeBella, a guy that's in the construction business, both of them were arrested uh, on Friday night. They have some type of issue behind the scenes here with two guys. I'm not going to mention their names. Two South Philly guys that are connected guys. I'm not going to say to who, but connected guys. Uh, Baldino and DeBella have been beefing with for about a month or two. There was a brawl at the Philly Live Casino. Um, and then there was an incident where, well, some of this was preceded by what I'm told Baldino and DeBella uh, kicking these guys out of their jobs um, for, for companies that DeBella and Baldino were running, firing these guys. Uh, there was the brawl at the Philly Live Casino. And then that brings us to Friday early evening. Baldino and DeBella uh, see these two guys out somewhere on uh, about town they run them off the road this is about five o'clock uh in the evening they show up at chicken and pete's after that incident um and at some point in the hour after they get there these two guys show up at chicken and pete's there's verbal sparring going back and forth uh the changalini's niece is behind the bar from what i understand Stand, was kind of looking after the place. Kathy Chang, which is Johnny Chang's wife, ha, has kind of been a manager bartender at Chicky Pete's for a long time, Chicky and Pete's for a long time. They don't usually get there till eight, nine o'clock. Uh, the niece calls the Changalinis. 
after DeBella and Baldino are getting mouthy with the staff who are telling them to calm down because they're fighting with these, these two rivals of theirs. Uh, the Changalini show up. Johnny Chang addresses the situation. Mikey DeBella, not a made guy, uh, I'm told, got mouthy with Johnny Chang, and Johnny Chang slapped him. And then at that point, either Baldino or DeBella or both of them struck Johnny Chang. He wasn't knocked out, but he hit the ground. Um, and this is what ignited the brawl and the melee that then spilled over into the parking lot. Um, Kathy Chang at that point arrived on the scene when everybody was out in the parking lot and she gets out of her car with a lead pipe and starts swinging on people. She acknowledges this on some of her social media posts. Um, but there's been some pushback on the other side of it that want to be clear that according to their narrative, Johnny Chang wasn't touched or did not fall back. Um, that this was Johnny Chang basically um, kind of coming in as a knight in shining armor to protect the women in, in the place that were being disrespected. Now, that's partially true, but the notion that these guys, mean Baldino and DiBella, were simply harassing women and that's what got the Changelinis called to the scene is not really true. I mean, they were fighting with or had a verbal altercation with two guys that they have a problem with that are connected guys. Um, and that argument led to the disrespect of, of the family member, which led to the Changelinis showing up. Uh, Johnny Chang is not arrested. Kathy is arrested for disorderly conduct, but DeBella and Baldino are both have been arrested for assault. I saw the report. And in the report, it says that Johnny Chang was knocked down. So we can sit here and play the, you know, the game of he said, she said, or, you know, you have an angle or you're trying to, I'm not, Johnny Chang is, is, a, is an OG. I mean, everybody knows Johnny Chang's an OG. He's not somebody that you mess with. But at the same time, Johnny Chang is almost 70 and he's squaring off of a, 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 about, you know, guys that are in their forties. And it's just, you know, that's, that's, father time is undefeated. So he did not get knocked out. That was something that was going out that, you know, had been out there. He wasn't knocked unconscious, but the niece was knocked almost unconscious. So you have a lot of issues at play here that we just, you know, we wanted to clear up, let everybody know exactly what happened. Um, and then there's these, these other undercurrents that we'll get into as the weeks go on, because I know more information is going to pop up where there has been a break-in and a shooting in the last month that is playing a role in here where people are trying to figure out what's connected and what's not connected. So more information about that will come out in the future and we'll be on top of it. But I wanted to clear uh, clear the air and give everyone the kind of the, the soup to nuts, you know, the, the exact blow by blow what happened um, on Friday night at Chickie and Pete's. The fact that it also happened, this didn't happen at three o'clock in, you know, in the morning. This was at Chickie and Pete's. Again, this is for people that aren't from South Philly. This is, you know, this is like the local watering hole where everybody goes to watch sporting events and to drink after work and to, you know, go out on dates and meet their friends. And it's like at the peak of dinner time, this was, you know, the epitome of disrespect. Um, but there were, again, kind of two separate situations at play. And I wanted to be clear to let everyone know what was going on. So Scott Bernstein uh, reporting, you know, giving you, you know, straight from the horse's mouth, uh, you know, raw, unadulterated truth. That's what we do here. We don't shade it. We don't go one side or the other. We're going to give you the truth. If it makes people look bad, then, you know, I'm sorry. The truth is the truth. So. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share. We got the Patreon coming soon. We're going to be doing uh, Wednesday nights lives every Wednesday night, uh, about 8 o'clock to 9, 10 o'clock. We're going to be chopping it up. If you're a, a member of our Patreon, you can come on and, and we'll engage. So looking forward to that. Scott Bernstein, OG Pod. I'm out.